The heavens are coming to earth. They're coming. And I immediately saw a huge shooting star. <clears throat> it was the <clears throat> biggest one I've ever seen in my life. And also from having a spell without cannabis, I've been able to get my dreams and understand a bit about what's going on. Then at his, at his funeral, we gave him a good send-off. We had a very good party. Lots of people came. It was a very happy occasion. And there was some cannabis there in that evening, and I partook. And, um, and I noticed how high I got from both from having the new truths in me that were correct and also from having a spell without cannabis I've been able to get my dreams and understand a bit about what's going on and um, I actually believe at that point I was spiritually born again I had a very very high moment and that's what it felt like um, so whether I was or not at that point, I don't know, but it, that's what it felt like. So whether I was or not at that point, I don't know, but it, that's what it felt like. So then I went another couple of weeks without cannabis and I thought, I actually want to try and do this again. I want to smoke some cannabis and, and get to this high point and see if I can actually tap into some of the emotions I'm finding it hard to, to feel because from the teachings of A.J. Miller what you need, we're all born, when we're born we start getting this emotional damage to our soul from our parents and even generational ones because it's been passed on to our parents and from their parents and so on. So feeling these emotions is key to actually repairing your soul, if you like. So I, I, two weeks ago, I smoked cannabis again. So this is for the second time since I'd given up. Um, and it was quite amazing, um, some of the things that I was feeling. And I was, I was with people a lot, a lot of the time, so I was doing a lot of talking and sharing and, and everything but um, at one point I was on my own and I really tapped into to some of the things I'd done in my younger childhood which were errors and, and what I noticed then is as I was coming off the cannabis I was actually in a better state than I was two weeks previously coming off the cannabis. It still isn't pleasant coming off the cannabis, coming down um, but, because it also takes quite a long time to come down, you do know, I did note, I could really feel that. I'd smoke cannabis joint, go up quite quick, up, I'd say a good four or five levels. So if I was on level one or two at that point, you know, I would actually go up to sort of level six or seven. And, and I also really felt God closely and for the first time really felt the female attributes, the female half of God, which I had been struggling with feeling before. Getting away from it, I don't have my life. But from the point you were conceived, the emotions you feel, all the emotions around you.
when you go back there. That probably totally shut up gone. So then I was totally addicted to my parents. Some more of that obviously. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that doesn't make much of a difference. It didn't happen when I told them that, did it? <laughs> Some more of that, obviously. <laughs> By the way, this is no spirit possessing me. I've never felt more myself in all my life. Well, not since a very young age. <sighs> never too late to start. But I know about the cannabis thing. Very, very little at first to try. Eat it, eat of it. <laughs> yeah, have a cookie. Have a cookie. And sit there, sit there, and just feel. <laughs> feel. In the fear block, you're going to have to face it. And you know what? As soon as you face it, you most of the way through. It's like any of those with the unpleasant emotions. As soon as you agree to face them, God just gives you love. <laughs> ISIS have got a report and they slit the throats of others and as John Cantley's doing his reports for him for him and he's done four so far and they've had not very little not very much media attention. And so that's kind of touching me. That you know, it's a customer of mine and his family have to go through that but All the wickedness that's going on in me. It's unnecessary. Anyone does anything to anyone? You're making it worse for yourself, you're going downhill. You don't want to be going uphill. So, if you do that, you're just giving yourself more of all this pain to deal with. Experiencing what I've just experienced was basically our souls are all in God. They are, in every sense of the word, in God or, and certainly attached to God as well. You're suppressing them for so long that it gets harder and harder to, to choose to feel them. And each different emotion of the soul is is new so you're as reluctant to feel that one as you were the last one even though intellectually you're thinking well i've felt these emotions i've gone through them i can feel i can get more of them and you think they might be getting worse and worse but they're all pretty much the same in a sense it's the same resistance fear 
denial. Most of, most of you, us are in denial. Complete denial. Emotions of the soul. To know the soul. That is our, the teaching that God wants to teach us about. <laughs> The most destructive force in the universe is the false belief that we have about ourselves. The colour of your eyes. Mark. Brown is brown. Green is the mark of Cain. And blue. Reward or curse. the mark Lamech I don't come on here with facts and figures, numbers and statistics and tell you that it's true, right? Because numbers and statistics don't necessarily do that. You would have to have numbers and statistics from every angle. And it would just get too confusing and boring. About humans are the only creatures on this planet that have souls. If an elephant has a soul, then a giraffe has a soul. And a zebra, and a dog, and a cat, and a mouse, and a weasel, and a flea, and a fly, and a germ. Okay, you could argue that all these beings and a little bit of bacteria has a soul. And when I do a poo, there's bacteria in my poo and there's lots of souls being flushed down the toilet. When you meet an animal, if it doesn't have a soul, if it's just a body and a spirit body, but clearly you can see they have affection. I mean, they have great affection, don't they? In a way, it must be like God think of all the animals as the eyes and ears of God. <laughs> channel is a talk about cancer and why the doctors would fall for this basically because you know and why why do we all fall for it because we haven't really considered it it's been indoctrinated into us from a very young age <laughs> Because 
they no way convey everything that's coming in and I just can't I just can't write it all down and make videos and explain it I just can't but it might be right now <laughs> family and that is God as our mother and father and all of us billions of children are all one family and that includes those in the spirit world and what happened then is I was feeling God and then a multitude of spirits um, were interested and wanted to get in on what I was doing because that is you the, the little you inside that can't cease to exist, the your soul, the other half of your soulmate is basically you. So you could say to your soulmate, we are me. <laughs> I can influence other people. The, you know, the texts are coming out of the three in a row, like it was quite interesting. And one then. So that, you know, spirits can do that, right? I mean, God could probably, but probably wouldn't need to and that wouldn't be God's way but uh see anyway God's awesomeness so you know who God went to Scott it is June 24th 2015 we've got one year May June 2016 is <clears throat> when the upheaval will occur. Most men, probably, if not pretty much all men, are not open to Mother God. Hello. I'm making this video on um, early Sunday morning, 9th of August, 2015. I do not intend to upload this video or make it public until a later time. Possibly 22nd of September. I haven't made a video for a while because the truth that I was feeling was very fantastic, hard to believe, and so forth. I am still also needing to go through a stage, um, basically going couple of weeks without smoking cannabis to make sure that you know I'm not in a delusion I was basically going through feelings of understanding that I I didn't completely know myself I didn't know who I was in the sense that I didn't know my purpose. I am, and I might as well say it now, Messiah of this generation. Perhaps Christ, if that's the word, if that's the right word, that if God has chosen one person to demonstrate um, 
and so I'm not like fully <laughs> capable yet. Macy, mm -hmm. I'm gonna tell you something. <laughs> yep. Don't guess what it is. <laughs> Do you want any? Do you want to carry on with that? Well, you seem excited about it. Yeah, well, it's a pretty big thing. But you're not home, are you? No. <laughs> and you're not going to shake it later off? No. Not being in that year? No. You living to Norway? No. I've worked out that <laughs> Michelle will tell you where you get cut in there. I've worked out that I am the one. The one, like Jesus. In a way. I thought AJ Miller was Jesus. He was. What do you mean was? It's not now you know that he's worked out that you are. <laughs> no, Isn't that a bit like how he, he found out he was Jesus? He was, he, was Jesus, he was Jesus. And he came back to bring the truth, but he didn't come back to do what is prophesied to be done. So that's a bit about spheres and... and it raises my level, level so that I'm able to feel, feel the truth. And that's why a lot of people stop smoking cannabis, because they can't face the truth they're feeling. Um, that happened to me back when I was 19 and I went to Norway and, you know, I wasn't prepared to face what I was feeling. I still got to think about that one. Um, I haven't mentioned this, but I've changed who I think my soulmate is again. And I've had a lot more feeling, um, possibly because I've actually met her rather than um, gone through my past trying to figure out which one my soulmate was. I've been, um, since I've been thinking about me being the chosen one of God, that God, when I was 18 months, lifted me of generational soul injuries that everybody else has, and that, in a sense, life has been a lot easier for me. And since hearing Divine Truth, it's been a lot easier for me to to start to feel God. And what I've worked out just now really is that since I've been feeling God, the, the leap of faith, the, uh, the courage needed to, 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 to just feel, um, was the first one was the hardest. The first one will be the hardest. So if you can do the first one, you can go all the way. And also the reason why it's like that, why the first one is the hardest and then so on and so on and so on, gradually getting less and less difficult to do, that gives you the motivation to finish the course. Probably in Africa. Probably there. I don't know. They say, fuck you, God. <laughs> We're pretty cool. I don't think we need you, you know. I mean, you know, what are you for, actually? Actually, I don't think I need you. So, um, yeah, Jack got back what he put in, and he didn't like it, and he saw his brother, and then... <coughs> did a bad thing. And, uh, he killed him, and... Abel's body was dead, but his spirit was still around, and, you know, he was the first one, really, to be in the spirit world. Not God. I'm just pretending to be God. <clears throat> you naughty, naughty boy. Um, what shall we do with you? Hmm. I've got an idea. You won't get anything from the ground, right? You know, even if you do good, 
uh, you know, the ground will not yield its wealth to, okay? Right? Got it? Oh, but oh, they'll kill me! Alright. So, I'm just giving you something a bit nasty. Um, so I'll tell you what. Anyone does anything to you, they'll get it back seven times stronger in the early days. Uh, repaired specifically. But you, what did you do? That took me two wives. <laughs> two wives? Well, that means you took somebody else's soulmate. You saw them. I wanted to. I like a variety. So, uh, alright, so basically what you're saying is you're greedy to the point where you'll see one of your brothers suffer and go without. Um, well, it doesn't matter anyway, because uh, if I do something bad to a brown eye, it barely affects me. <laughs> right. God, side it. Probably always an idea. Now, you know what I did to Cain, don't you? I said to him that he won't get the well out the ground. Well, I'm going to have to go a step further with you, aren't I? I mean, you've really, you've really, like, gone into this sin thing, haven't you? So, you will be persecuted by insects. And, I don't know if you're going to be disliked by animals as well. I'm not sure about that one. Insect, and your food. You grow any food. <laughs> There's going to be insects all over it. They're going to devour it, brother, son. I'm pretending to be God, so son. Um, so, yeah, you're, you're going to be... Um, you are going to be persecuted by insects where food will be. But, if anyone should kill you, You'll kill them seven, sevenfold. I think it's Le Lemek again. I, I, I can't bother to check it anyway. Noah's father, guy who died when he was 777. They hooked a plan. Oh, it's exciting. Oh, this plan's going to work. Oh, oh. What we'll do when I'm 777. You kill me. That will create a terrible scene and God will have no choice but to change the colour of your eyes and make the karma 777 and then we'll be the most powerful in the world. <laughs> right then, I'm 777 today. Alright. Killed <laughs> What's going to happen? Nothing's happening. Oh, you're dead. Bloody hell. Next day, nothing's bloody happened. Next day, nothing's happened. He's speaking to him from the heaven. Nothing bloody happened, did it? <sighs> Got a lot of my truth from A.J. Miller. Um, and while half of me, some of the time, well, half the time I'm arguing with people saying A.J. Miller is Jesus, and then the other half of the time I'm arguing with the ones who already know that or it, in that way arguing with them about some of the points where AJ Miller might be wrong just say 6,000 years so I think there's been a cover up I think a lot of what we take as factual is not. Um, I, I'm right and wrong, right? That's what it's telling me. But it's telling me also not to put God on the spot. That's the feeling I got, you know, don't, don't sort of do that in a sense. And, and I was pressuring myself. I, I felt I needed to prove it.
Um, so, you know, again, that was the wrong thing to do. And as soon as I was making the video and, and, and doing the, the work, I, I sort of realised that the way God moves is through individuals. So, mainly. And I, I think that's probably true. You know, you know, and those genes today are still continuing on. And they are the true Israelites, if we want to say that. You know, they are the ones who have suffered. They are the ones who had yokes of iron taken away in captivity on ships to distant lands. This was predicted in the Bible. But these so-called Jews who are in Israel now, you know, blue eyes and some of them, and they wear these fucking stupid hats. You know, where was that in the Bible? Hello? And so that, that's why I wrote here was, um, Jews, how have they been recognised? How were they recognised in Shakespeare's time in The Merchant of Venice? You know, they might have certain characteristics, but to hate someone, you know, if the Jews were hated as they were, they must have had, you know, something to be recognised. And, and as far as we can see, it's the, it's the dress, you know, these, these traditional hats and everything. And give, give credit to them. They, you know, they... I, I'm not saying, like, the, the Germans didn't kill them. I, I don't think that could be a lie. Um, it's possible. I'm not saying it is. I mean, the Jews were hated in England as well before. They were kicked out of England. And the reason it seems to be mainly is that they were so good with money. Now, where in the Bible does it say that they'll be good with money? It doesn't. It says they're great musicians. And, and you know, charisma. Now you look at the, the, the people who have taken the slaves over to America and all the other islands before that, and, and now we're talking good musicians, aren't we? Truth. Truth is the foundation of love. We need our mother and father God to be our teacher but before that could happen before we could fully understand that we needed to play on our own if you like um, God would do little things here and there like the mark of Cain the mark of Lamech green and blue eyes and the Christ's Seven in one. So that because of the first sin was, we don't need God. So you've got in your genetics, in your DNA, um, a trigger basically on your soul going, you don't need God, don't need God, don't need God, don't need God. It was happy and it was. But it was, you know, you had to be a little bit faithful that you weren't going to collapse and die or something because it was all-encompassing, if you like. I had a very interesting night last night. It was my mother. Definitely... Got in there. God's plan. Is your life and 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 your your life, your life, your life, your life, your life, your life, everybody's life. God's been in there. Good stuff. Paul's have suffered more than others. But I think we'll all get equal measure. The 
so feels so safe and trusting to them. That you know, we're so near the beginning of our existence. Okay, I don't know if I said in the last video or not, but um, it's very important for feeling God's love is to love yourself. So, um, you know, let's, let's try it. Love yourself. So you get the feeling within you of when you love somebody, like in your core, in your heart, and project that towards yourself. Now, you won't be able to fake it because you know yourself, so if things come up, reasons why you can't love yourself, well that's good because it gives you something you can deal with if, if you can't love yourself and if you want to feel God's love, God's love you're going to need to <clears throat> like as a one-off you could feel God's love or you know aspects of God but to actually get God's love come into you, into your soul, into your heart you need to love yourself being soft and loving and it is nice, you sort of feel it, you feel like your heart is a nice soft heart rather than a hard heart. And when you're walking past people in the street, if you have this sort of feeling of softness and you know it's like an understanding, it's like this person walking towards me, I might be getting a feeling from their soul that they're, they're a bit you know hard like that. but rather than feeling that and getting hard back. <laughs> Feel that and understand, you know, there's a reason and everything else and and you get just a different reaction from the person. Different as in unexpectedly nice. Because love conquers. An equivalent soul pleasure that sounds better. Time goes. Time is a, just a dimension and that's gone. The eternal now is what we're in. So I think I might get back to the eternal now. Um, title of this video is it's June 22nd or 23rd 2016 that is the day or that is when the hour of the Lord happens as I think it will be an hour or it'll be within an hour that this thing happens. Pole shift Brexit!
conversation and that's what I kind of need to have with you. Whoever you are, brother or sister, you are unique. You are a child of God. You are special. And all of us souls are equal in the eyes of God. Though we have played different parts. The part I'm playing is of the seventh Christ. <laughs> Some karma, got some mother and a father, God's not 